Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is Hardly Gaming, and today we're going to be just looking at a new fire status build. I believe this is about a 4.0 or 5.0 because I do love my fire status builds. If you actually go back to the very first video I ever uploaded, I believe it was a fire status build, you know, all those six weeks ago or whatever it was. Uh, but yeah, so my channel's grown quite nicely. Uh, I'm almost at 400 guys, so please, if you're not subscribed, can you go down and press the like and subscribe button? I really would like to hit the 400 subscribers. Um, but yeah, I really do appreciate it all, and uh, thank you for being here. So without further ado, let's just pop into the build. Okay guys, so here we are. As you can see, I'm using the fire starter signature tree here, that's for the extra burn duration. Plus the grenade is actually a really nice one. Uh, it's a cluster grenade, probably one of my favourites. Uh, I'd say this standard grenade and the fire grenades from the survivalist are my favourites. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm using for my signature. Uh, my primary weapon, I'm just using an assault rifle here because I'm, I'm testing new weapons out right now. Quite like this one here set up. I've got ignited on it, which is a really good talent to have for burn, for uh, burning builds. So you deal 20% extra weapon damage to burning enemies. And after four kills, you apply burn into the next enemy you hit, and that works really, really well with this build. Uh, my secondary weapon is just a banshee here. Uh, again, mode quite nicely. I'm just trying out new things with this SMG, but I'm also using it because of this talent here on wavering. Though swapping to this weapon grants plus 300% weapon handling, kills with fresh as buff. Now, the reason I'm doing it is because it's quite a nice uh, secondary weapon to have for a skill build. You can quickly pull this out and just take enemies down very quickly. Um, Although none, neither of these weapons are uh, best in slot for, you know, I'm just trying new things. That's how we ad evolve and adapt. Uh, so yeah, that's it. As you can see, uh, for my beer, gear pieces here, I am using the four pieces of the new Eclipse Protocol. So the two-piece bonus gives you plus 50% status effects. The three-piece gives you another plus 50% skill haste and 30% hazard protection. And the four piece, which is what makes this build fantastic, is your status effects now spread on kill to all enemies within 15 meters and refresh 50% of your duration. So the fire just spreads further and further on. Now you can mix this as well. You can have this with, say, like the hive uh, and fire. So you get bleed and fire that goes out further and further uh, each time. Uh, yeah, I really love it. Though. It's taken me a little bit of time to farm this build together because I couldn't find this mask um, and I eventually got given it by a random player who I would asked if anybody finds it. I cannot remember the guy's name but if you are watching, thank you, I really do appreciate it. I'd done about 15 missions trying to find farm it. Um, I'd got dozens of green uh, gear pieces but none uh, of this mask. So yeah, um, fantastic. Uh, uh, community there uh, so yeah thank you for that uh, my backpack I'm going to be using is a one piece wyvern this is definitely not my best in slot I'd rather have uh, what's the one that gives status I believe it's golem that gives status plus 10% status uh, but <clears throat> I didn't I, I don't have a best in slot right now uh, I wanted to uh, I want a good amount of skill haste and creeping death now this is another kind of must have for this build when you apply a status effect, it also applies to all enemies within 8 meters of your target. This really helps to get the fire out there and it's spread to as many targets as possible. And that actually works brilliantly with the fire sticky because when you hit one person in the middle of a mob, they're all now on fire. Uh, I've got my other two pieces of the eclipse protocol here. I've rolled as much as I can on plus I've got only about 9.9% but it's all plus 10% with as much skill haste mods as I can. Uh, now when you put your chest piece on for this, uh, you get the extra bit here. The increase in direct transmission range from 15 to 20 and refresh percentage from 50 to 75%. So that means that uh, more enemies are getting hit with a fire and for longer. Now, I don't know if the fire can then spread onto a second target after the first target's been hit. If it is, then, then yeah, you want to stack as much status because the more status you have affects not only the damage but the duration of the status effect. Uh, so yeah, I would recommend using the chest piece for this. Um, but not the backpack. The backpack is not a very good one here. Uh, the backpack uh, amplifies all damage you do to status affected enemies. You as a skill build player, aren't going to be used doing too much damage to status affected enemies no matter how you set your gear up. And the last piece I'm using is an Imperial Dynasty here. 
Now, the reason I'm using the Imperial Dynasty is because this dragon supplier down here. Now, the Imperial Dynasty is an, exotic, is an exotic that you almost only can find. I don't know if it's only because I found, I'm pretty sure I found more than one of these. Um, but you can get it from the, what is it, the tanker mission in New York. Um, and I would recommend going to get it. It's not it's not too difficult to get um, and then what, what, it, what it does is whilst in combat applies burn to the enemy closest to you within 20 meters now this works brilliantly with creeping death especially if the uh, the enemies come up behind you and suddenly they're all on fire uh, so yeah I, I really like using my Imperial Dynasty um, I like seeing the little thing proc up and not have to set it on fire I'm not even meant to do it uh, and the two skills I'm going to be using is a fire sticky here um, which has a nice wee shot code. Oh, have I got the bug on? I have got the bug on again. <laughs> I don't know why it happened. Uh, usually it's about 100% skill haste to this build, so it's about a, a 12 second. I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I, I get this. Um, and then my second skill is going to be a fire starter chem launcher. So the idea is, as I said, so you've got your human death. Now I'm going to hit this one target here. And they're now all on fire. Because it's uh, the fire uh, chem launcher, so the fire sticky, the fire lasts for ages. And it's gonna finish it up there. That one now. Now, hopefully, this should kill an enemy, and you should see, yeah, there you go. The fire has now spread to these targets over here. So you can see with this, plus Coop and Death, plus the spread for the gear pieces, you can see how fire starts getting quite ridiculous. And how much it can do. And actually we set those guys back on fire from that original cast as well. Yeah, the chem launcher doesn't last as long as uh, other things. They've, that's one of the things they did reduce recently. Alright guys, so we'll be back recapping the build, build here. So it's a four piece Eclipse. Uh, one piece, uh, basically one piece anything as long as it's got creeping death. Um, as I said, I, I believe it's a golem. I could be wrong here. Um, I, have a no. I think it's a golem piece I'm thinking about. I know I definitely have a mask somewhere in here that I keep because I like it, but I've never used it. Yes, it is a golem, it gives you plus 10% status effect. Um, so yeah, golem would be perfect with creeping death. But this is the best I have. And a one piece Imperial Dynasty, well, one piece, the only piece Imperial Dynasty. And then the two gear, the two, stick, uh, the two skills you're using are the Burn Sticky Bomb and the Fire Starter Chem Launcher. Yeah. Uh, so I will be uh, I, I will be putting up a video as well with gameplay of this build, and I will put that into a comment below. Please go check it out. It's a bit of a bumpy one. Uh, we start off really strong, gets a bit rough towards the end, but we do finish the mission. Uh, so you guys, I hope you enjoyed the build, please let me know if you do, and I will see you in the next video, guys, take care.